Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, nice to meet you. My name is Reya, and I'm a huge makeup and skincare addict. Today I'm doing you a full review of the Pink Rush Cosmetics Lucid Dreams Eyeshadow Palette. I have done first impressions video with this palette of already, and I'll link that uh, to the description box and probably at the end of the video in the cards. But this is what the palette looks like, and um, I have this is third look that I have done with this palette now. I'm probably going to do one more look uh, and add the pictures at the end of the video. But yeah, if you'd like to know what I think about this palette and how I created this look, then please keep on watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, hit the like button if you like this video, and uh, hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every time I upload a new video. I'm trying to upload three times a week, but you know, life happens. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's four. Last week I took a break uh, from filming. Um, I was kind of, I wasn't feeling normal. Like uh, I didn't have an inspiration and, and then I had meetings on the days that I normally would film. But I'm trying to get back in the filming now. Today is a Monday. Uh, Easter Monday. But yeah, um, let's go put some makeup on. Okay, let's start with the makeup. Oh, sorry. And as you saw from the title, I'm doing the review, full review of the Pink Rush Cosmetics uh, Lucid Dreams eyeshadow palette, which looks like this. Uh, I have the first impressions. I'll link that video in the description box and probably at the end of the video in the cards. And you, there's swatches and all that kind of stuff. I have this is my third look with this palette now, uh, but I think I will do one more, one more, and put it uh, in the pictures at the end of the video, like usually. I just have to film this now because. Yeah, so uh, I'm using this shade called Daydream and this shade called Delirious of the mattes. I used P. Louise eyeshadow press at base and I haven't set it. I'm starting with Chesap 230 Luxe Pencil Brush. Uh, I am affiliated with Chesap. You also get 15% off. I'll put the code in the screen and all my affiliated links are in the description box. Thank you everyone who are using those. It really helps me. Helps me to keep doing these videos. I'm trying to set my phone where I have the screen share on so I can see it well. So I'll start with the shade Daydream. So I kind of want to do uh, one more look using the greens alone, like not alone, but you know, that green mattes. These shadows are very nicely pigmented. They are quite easy to blend. And I love this color story. Find a good spot for my for my other phone. I have too much stuff on my table again. I'll clean the brush a bit to, so I can buff the edges a bit to make it a bit easier to blend to the lighter color. Yeah. 
And then I'll take Essence Eye Blender brush and the shade Delirious. First, I'm just going to dab it on. These two shades have quite, quite a big difference in the depth, so they're not uh, the easiest shades uh, depth-wise to blend together, but you can do it like you see on the other eye. It just takes a bit, bit more work, or if um, if you would have uh, one shade between these, it would be easier. But it goes like this too, and of course, this kind of twelve pan palettes, uh, you can't put tons of color, especially if you want. Uh, to do palette that is not monochromatic. I don't know how to speak anymore. Also, if you hear sounds, my partner is home. It's Monday today. He's actually in uh, being home till Thursday. <laughs> Then I'll just um, re-intensify the darker shade. So like last week I I took a break from filming. I was I was very busy. Uh, I had something, some meetings at the days that I would normally film, so, and I was kind of, I had kind of inspiration lack also, well, yeah, last week, because today is Monday, so I decided to take a break from filming, but back now. I'm just going between these shades now to blend, to get the blend the way I want it. I have an order from Revolution coming with the their new base products, except the, not the foundation, but bronzer, cream bronzer and a contour and a highlighter, setting spray and XX Revolution, those square pan uh, blushes that came a little while ago. I have a couple shades of those. So I'll be doing a review of those. And then yesterday I ordered the Eden's Eye Mystery Box. I ordered the $45 one because I haven't tried Eden's Eye. And um, I haven't been able to decide which palette I would order and what else. And I thought this was a really nice way to try because you get four items um, that are worth at least $90 and you pay $45 so I think that was really nice way and then for the shimmer I'm going to use this green here this mint green this is called dream life I'm using my beauty bay Hey, shorty brush, and I'm going to bet. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Did I actually accidentally sh use my uh, you know, antiseptic? 
gray <laughs> earlier because I can't find now the setting spray anywhere. They're very similar bottles. It's like this is the setting spray and this is the cleaning. Well, <laughs> don't know did I use accidentally that. Anyway, I'm going to take the dream life now and wear it with the setting spray. I think I accidentally used that because I was wondering why doesn't it feel wet at all, the brush. And because it has alcohol, it dries very fast. Whoopsie. Well, that's life. And then I'll take, you see, that was that's, that went on very nicely. Then I'll take that chisel brush we used first and that darker shade and dab the edges. Also, this worked very much better than uh, I I didn't have to back this on so much as the other side. <laughs> Oopsie. I'm going to clean that essence brush and oh, blend the edges more to fade it to my skin. And then what I'll do, I'll add uh, Spadurkles glitter. This is W7 Metal Flash Metallic Glitter Eyeliner in the shade Iridescent. And I'm not using it a lot. Just want some bit more interest to the look. This is the dupe of the Urban Decay. Can't remember what's it called now, but it's very popular. I have used this much, this so much. I think I need a new one. I kind of have to dig in to get stuff out. Maybe I should take the the stopper off. Then what I did on the other side, I went a bit over the edges. Sorry, I probably have a mirror in front of me again. Just a bit more blending in here. And then I did the winged liner. But I'm going to do that off camera. So this is the kind of the eye look. Eye look. I'll go finish my makeup now and I'll come back with the review part. Okay, here is the finished look today. Um, um, what to say? I used the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade 10 Dreamer on my lips. I used Kubis Lashes. Where's the package? Well, the um, yeah, Kubis Natural Eyelashes. Um, yeah, and what else? Some Colourpop eyeliners for the inner uh, waterline and tight lining 
but yeah let's talk about the palette this palette i really really like it it's it has beautiful color story and the mattes perform well the duochromes which are this one this one um this one and this one work very well they're very beautiful and yeah uh, there's like a three uh, a four really uh, mattes then i think this one is matte with a little bit of glitter in it and then this this one this one and this one are shimmers these are in my mind a bit more uh, satiny shades than real shimmers and this is like a normal shimmer which i use today uh, but yeah of course i haven't tried all the shades yet <laughs> Uh, we'll see what I do tomorrow or maybe tomorrow or yeah we'll see I ha I, I'm trying to do one more look with the palette but I had to film this today because you know I haven't noticed any staining with these uh, purpley pinkish shades in the palette and yeah they're quite easy to blend um, it's not the best formula that I have ever tried but but I really like it. The price isn't bad for indie brand and it, it came very fast from United States to Finland so it took like a couple weeks I think. But yeah, I'm definitely going to try more Pink Crush Cosmetics eyeshadows. Uh, with this uh, palette they came out with plenty. Like I think, I'm not sure how many but quite few palettes. Other one, uh, there's other one um, that is um, kind of similar color story, but not right. And then there's some neutrals. If you want to try neutrals, there's neutral palettes. And I'm not sure now, I haven't checked. I forgot to check, but uh, last time I checked, this one was sold out and it said there that it will be back in stock soon. But... Um, Maybe I'll check it when I'm editing this video and I'll, I'll, I'll add the text to the screen that is it back in stock already. But yeah, really, really nice first impression of the, of the brand. And yeah, I like it. Like it, like it, like it. Like you, it's beautiful color story. And uh, I'm moving towards more of the indie brands. Um, I feel like... Like Beauty Bay came out with uh, for a three monochrom monochromatic palettes, and now Be Perfect has come out with uh, nine pan palettes that are like blue and neutral and pink and green. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm moving towards indie brands because I think they have a more interesting color stories, and of course I like to um, support small brands and. Uh, Normally, uh, the quality is quite good, and yeah. But if you want um, to see more indie brands, there is Leora Haleh Kolberg. I'll link her channel down below. She does uh, new makeup releases every Wednesday, except this week because she is uh, in her religion. Religion there is Passover, I think, so she doesn't have the time to edit the videos. But next week, and she she's like an ambassador of the indie brands, and I really love her. She's very bubbly and like positive person. So, but if you want to see you nice way to start that I the way I started to watch her was from the uh, new releases that is every Wednesday, and it's mostly uh, indie brands. But yeah, this was this video today, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new upload, and we will see you next time. Bye!